Do your teams plan out their work in JIRA? Here's a great way to quickly create plans in Tempo Planner using this JIRA data. Creating plans for resources and team members in Tempo Planner can feel like an extra step if you or they have already done time estimates in JIRA for their work projects. You can speed up the process by importing the data that's already in the JIRA issues to make plans in Tempo Planner. And that means a lot less work for you. As a resource manager here at Lunar Industries, I use this feature in Planner to quickly see what work is being planned in the upcoming sprint for two of my teams. I can make sure that the time for each team member is mapped out properly for optimal productivity. Let me show you how I do this. It all starts with the members of my teams. Here in JIRA, this team has just finished their sprint planning and are about to start their sprint. Each team member has completed their own JIRA issues for the project. And the key for using this data in Tempo Planner is that they have filled out all of these three fields, assignee, original estimate, and the due date. And just a note that you'll need to add the due date field if it's not already in your JIRA issue screens. Planner needs the due date to be today or a later date, such as the sprint's end date. As well, the issue status cannot be closed, which is not a problem since these issues are for our upcoming sprint. So my team members have done all the real work in JIRA, which is great for me. But now it's my turn. I'm using Tempo Planner to help me visualize this work for both my teams, something that I can't really do in JIRA. I'm doing the planning in the weeks view so that I can get a bird's eye view of everyone's scheduled work for more than a week. Using the date picker up here, I'll focus the calendar to show only the next two weeks, which is our sprint period. I'll filter here for my two lunar development teams so that I see only their plans. Filtering here also matters for the JIRA issues that I'm about to import, as you'll see in a minute. Another key thing I need to have is the Manage Plans permission for each of my teams, here in their Tempo Team permissions. This permission allows me to import the JIRA issues for these team members. With all that set up, I click the Import button up here at the right. Now I see all the eligible JIRA issues listed here. The team filters I selected show up here, and this is what's determining whose JIRA issues are listed here. I could change the filter or add another one, but of course this will change which JIRA issues show up here. So let's look at this list. There are quite a few issues for my team members. I'll check this top box to select all of them. And I get this message that tells me that importing more than 20 issues is quite a lot. So I'll uncheck the issues that are for other projects that are not in the current sprint. And then I'll click Import. And let's look at what magic just went down here. Plans were created for each team member who had JIRA issues assigned to them. The Import icon appears next to each team member's name, but that will disappear when I refresh this page. I'll expand here to see everyone's plans, and there's also an import icon on each plan which stays there. And this tells me that there's a connection between the plan and its corresponding JIRA issue. So how does Tempo Planner figure out how to make the plans from these issues? First, it uses the assignee field to create the plan for the correct team member. Then it uses the issue's due date as the end date of the plan. Working backwards from that, the time entered for the original estimate, in this case 32 hours, is divided over the working days. This calculation is determined by the team member's workload scheme, and in this case it's 8 hours a day for Beverly. You can find the workload schemes here in the settings. Amy has a different workload scheme because she's working part-time at only 4 hours per day. So her plan of 12 hours is spread over three days. Okay, so I've got all these plans here and I can clearly see an overview of everyone's workload, which is great. It looks like there are some changes I could make to balance out the work over the course of the sprint period. There are two ways in which I can edit these plans. I can make the changes directly in the JIRA issues and then update the plans in Planner. 
or I can make the changes to the plans only in Planner. I'll start with editing the JIRA issues and go back to Amy's plans. This one has eight hours and is overlapping with the plan above it. So I'm going to edit this by clicking its JIRA link over here. The issue opens up and I'll change the due date to be earlier in the week, February 2nd instead of the 5th. I'll go back to Planner and see that there's another change that I want to make, and that's for Beverly, who's overbooked on this week. That's because this issue is supposed to be assigned to Angel. So again, I'll click the JIRA link to open the issue and change the assignee to Angel and also change the due date to be February 5th since Angel had nothing planned for the first week of the sprint. Back in Planner, I can now update the plans with these changes. On the Import button, I would normally see a little number that indicates how many JIRA issues are available to be updated. But I didn't refresh the Planner page, so I don't see it yet. But I know there are changes since I just did them. So I click the Import button. On the Updates tab, I see the little number here that tells me how many JIRA issues have changed since they were imported. And this includes changes to any of the three relevant fields assignee, original estimate, or due date. So I click Updates and see the two JIRA issues that I just changed. I'll select them and click Update. Amy's plan has been updated so that it now ends on an earlier date and her time is properly distributed over this week. And this plan is now assigned to Angel instead of Beverly. And it covers the first week of the sprint, so there's no overlapping hours. Now let's look at what happens when I make changes to plans only in Planner. I'll go back to Beverly and see that there are overlapping plans with too many hours here on February 4th. In this case, I'm simply going to drag the end of this lower plan so that it starts on the next day instead. When I make this change, a message pops up asking me if I want to do this. Changing the plan here means that its JIRA issue won't be updated with these changes. I'll click Edit the Plan Anyway, since it's just a minor distribution of hours that was possibly an oversight. You'll notice that there's no more import icon here on the plan because the connection with its JIRA issue is gone. Of course, I could re-import this issue and make that plan again. I'll make one more quick change and that's to have this plan for Saul start on Monday so that there's no overlap with his other plan. Again, I choose to edit the plan anyway since it's pretty quick to do here. So things are looking a bit better and it's easy to see where I can make more changes. One more thing that is very valuable for getting data is to create a report. Since we also have Tempo timesheets installed here at Lunar Industries, my teams can log time to their plans as they work through the sprint. When the sprint is over, I can easily run a plan versus actuals report to see how accurate the planning was compared to the number of hours that they actually worked. This report provides me with a clear display of this data, and these are very valuable insights to have for our next sprint or project. But the best thing is that I got all this data with very little effort on my part, so I can take the afternoon off. <laughs>